This is a demonstration of your new Barclay home. This film will help you settle in, explain how everything works, and how to maintain your property for the future. For two years from your date of legal completion, Barclay will cover physical damage or defects to your home resulting from faulty workmanship or materials. It is worth noting that anything you change in your home during the two-year warranty period may invalidate the warranty on that area. When you first arrive, please check your kitchen and appliances and report any damage within seven days of legal completion. Please activate all of your appliances' two-year manufacturer warranties when you move in. Appliances can be switched on or off via the grid switch located in one of your high-level kitchen cupboards. All their instruction manuals can be found in your blue handover box. If the power is switched off for more than a few minutes, the oven clock will reset. You will need to add a minute on your clock before the oven will function. Before using your oven for the first time, we recommend turning it on for an hour to burn off any dust. Follow the manufacturer's guidance for cleaning. Your hob is an induction hob and will need induction compatible saucepans, which only heat up when they are placed on the surface. Your cooker hood is a filter, not an extractor, and depending on use, the carbon filter inside will need to be cleaned and replaced periodically. Your fridge has a drainage hole and a small tool for any blockages. Your freezer may overfreeze if you overfill the drawers. We recommend leaving the washing machine door open overnight often to allow the rubber seal to dry and stop the rubber from smelling. You need to maintain your appliances to ensure they run efficiently and to preserve warranties. Under the sink are important items you may need to use in an emergency. Your mains water stopcock is normally situated under your kitchen sink. If you have a leak and need to switch off your water supply, this is where you would stop the supply. It could also be located in your airing cupboard. Isolation valves for an outside tap should be located. In the winter, we recommend turning off the supply to your outside tap using this stopcock to avoid the pipes freezing. Isolation valves for both your washing machine and dishwasher will be under the sink in either your kitchen or utility area. These are blue valves and need to be facing the direction of the pipework for the water to flow and your appliance to work. Be mindful of what you run down the drain as food, oil and cooking fats will block your pipes. The different flooring in your home requires different kinds of care. Your carpets have been newly fitted and may present excess fluff at first. This is normal. Please refer to your manufacturer's guidelines regarding cleaning products for your floor. Make sure you have suitable window coverings fitted in the areas where your flooring may be exposed to prolonged sunlight. Tiled floors can be steam cleaned to remove dust and dirt deposits from grout. Tiled floors can chip or crack, so take care of dropping heavy or sharp items. Bathrooms have a dual flush toilet. Toilet seats can become loose and may require adjustment. Access panels provide access to pipework behind the toilet and provision is made to gain access under the bath. Pre-installed in the bath is an anti-scald device which is set to 38 degrees, limiting the water temperature to avoid causing harm. Your shower heads are adjustable to provide different water pressures. Over time, scale will build up in your shower heads. Regular descaling treatment will be required. We recommend running the tap in unused bathrooms frequently in order to stop any drain smells. Please do not flush anything other than toilet paper down your toilet. Sanitary items and wipes of any kind will block your drains. Your airing cupboard houses your hot water and heating systems. For safety, and to keep warranties valid, you must have your boiler and any other gas appliances serviced annually by a qualified heating engineer. Commonly experienced with newly fitted boilers is low water pressure. 
please refer to your user manual to troubleshoot any associated issues. An immersion switch is available for the emergency supply of hot water. Your home comes with a heating control system and multiple heating zones. You could have more than one thermostat to control the heating in your home. To set a different time or temperature per zone, remember to keep the doors closed within those zones. In your airing cupboard, you will have zone valves and hot water temperature settings. This is normally already set up and won't require any changes. Similarly, towel rails and radiators come fitted with a thermostatic control for temperature, except for rooms that have a heating programmer. The radiators in these rooms will not have a thermostatic radiator valve on them. Over time, radiators can gather air in them and it's the homeowner's responsibility to bleed the radiator to remove excess air. A radiator key will be required. In apartments, you have an electrical heating system with a digital display panel on individual radiators and can adjust the temperature on your radiators separately. You may have underfloor heating with a thermostat in each selected room. Your carbon monoxide alarm will be near your boiler. Test this regularly and replace the battery if necessary. If the alarm sounds, leave your home and call the gas safe national number. At completion, we will take meter readings. We will show you the location of your gas, electric and water meters. We advise against changing to a new supplier until you have received your first bill. If you live in an apartment, you'll be shown the location and given a key for any cycle or refuse stores if necessary. Settlement and shrinkage are very common in new build homes and nothing to worry about. You can help to keep shrinkage to a minimum. Most noticeable are on the tops of your skirting boards, around door and window frames, and possibly nail pops on your ceiling. General shrinkage is part of home maintenance, although anything big enough to slot a pound coin into should be reported to us for further investigation. Keeping air vents open and maintaining an ambient temperature of approximately 18 to 20 degrees for the first 18 to 24 months after moving in will help reduce shrinkage. Ventilation is an essential part of assisting a new build home to settle in. We fit extractor fans or MEVs, mechanical extract ventilation, which vent outside to kitchens and bathrooms. It is essential that you do not switch these off as ventilation in a new build home is imperative to avoid a buildup of moisture. Water is a large component of our build materials and the moisture in your home must be removed through ventilation. If you live in an apartment, you will also see a hatch in the ceiling which houses your mechanical ventilation unit. Trickle vents are present throughout your house at the tops of the windows and French doors. Keep these open as much as possible to allow air to circulate freely within your home. When the weather allows, open windows and let the home air. Windows can be opened by pushing the button in and pulling the handle up. They can be put on the latch, which is secured for ventilation. Your windows come with a generic key. Not all windows are lockable. This is to comply with fire regulations. We do not fit window restrictors in houses, so if you have small children, you may want to consider fitting these yourself. If you have built-in cupboards, we recommend leaving the doors ajar often to allow fresh air in. Avoid drying washing on the radiators, as this adds to the moisture in the air. Always allow a gap of about an inch behind furniture placed on outside walls for air to flow behind. We advise against decorating your home for 18 to 24 months. The paint we have used is water-based emulsion and allows the walls to breathe whilst drying out. Your front door is fitted with a multi-point locking system. To lock it from the inside, lift the handle and turn the thumb key. To lock it from the outside, lift the handle and turn the key. A fuse spur is located in your hallway cupboard should you wish to fit an alarm. When you move into a Barclay apartment, you will be given three door entry fobs. Should you forget your fob, you'll be provided with an access code instead. 
lost fobs will be replaced by the managing agents. Hardwired smoke alarms are installed in your property with a battery backup that will need to be changed in the future. These are linked and if one is activated, the others will also sound. Test alarms regularly. You should hoover the vented area on your smoke alarms to avoid the buildup of dust particles which can trigger a false alarm. You may have a master light switch by your front door. This switch must be on for your other light switches to work. In the cupboard in the hallway or under your stairs is a consumer unit. Should an appliance trip the switch, unplugging the item is required before resetting. You will have television, ethernet and phone points in your home. We recommend you purchase a detector before drilling into walls to avoid hitting electrical cables or pipework. Please ask our customer service team for further assistance. You will have a generic key to open your loft hatch and a pole to use the ladder. A light switch for the loft is located in your airing cupboard. Our roofs are vented spaces which allows air to flow freely. For this reason, we do not recommend you store anything in your loft. You will have received a copy of your deed plan. If relevant to your particular plan, there will be T's on it that denote which side of the fence you are responsible for. It is your responsibility to maintain your fence and gates by treating them routinely. Please ensure you have adequate insurance in place for weather damage to your fence and other external areas as these are not covered by your Barclay warranty. Weak vents outside brickwork allow water to escape from cavity trays. Moisture is likely to trickle out of these vents and salts will emanate from the brickwork leaving a white residue. This is a natural occurrence and will weather in time. Cleaning it will provide a temporary solution and is likely to make it worse. You may notice a darker strip of bricks below the damp proof course and air bricks which allow air to flow from underneath your foundations. These must not be covered when doing outside work like landscaping. Your garden has newly laid turf. Stay off your lawn for at least eight weeks until the surface has settled. In warm weather, your lawn will need watering twice a day, but be careful not to overwater. When trimming your lawn, mower blades should be sharp so that it cuts and not tugs at your lawn. Set the mower to its highest setting. It is the homeowner's responsibility to maintain the garden, plants, shrubs and trees. Plants and trees need TLC if they're to thrive. You will need to remove weeds and prune. Your garden gate has a top and bottom bolt where you can fit padlocks. All gates, fences, locks and bolts exposed to the elements require frequent maintenance. You may have an integral garage with a personnel door to your home. Your integral garage has power and lights and may house your electric and gas meters with an independent consumer unit. Although the walls will be insulated, driving rain can still potentially come under the garage door. Freestanding garages will come with what we call a single leaf, which means they only have one line of brickwork. So during periods of heavy rain and wind, you may notice water on the inside of your garage. This is nothing to worry about. However, don't store items of any value against the wall as they may be damaged. The area beyond your conveyed land will be managed by a management company and some areas may be adopted by the local authorities. You will be given details for the management company to contact directly for issues beyond your demised property. For a Barclay apartment, the areas outside your front door, such as corridors, lifts, communal front doors, parking areas, bin stores and gardens, will also be looked after by the management company. Be aware of which doors in your home are fire doors and keep these doors closed. In the unfortunate event of a fire, close these doors behind you as you exit your home. Please do not paint over intumescent strips on your fire doors or replace with doors which are not fire rated. 
We hope this video has been helpful. Remember, your blue box contains all your manuals. Other useful information specific to your home can be found in your My Home Plus account. Thank you for your time and enjoy your beautiful new Barclay home.